there are two types of ways to refer to the angle we have at left. The angle here with the blue arc. We can either use the point of the angle's vertex, angle E, or we can use three points with that vertex point in the middle. So F, E, A, or the opposite direction, A, E, F. These are the three different names we could give for this particular angle. Once you have a diagram with multiple angles, you're going to need to use three letters to refer to the angles rather than just one. If I say angle E, which angle am I talking about? Am I talking about this angle that has its vertex at E? Am I talking about this angle that has its vertex at E? Or am I talking about this angle whose vertex is E? That is why for most angles, we will use three letters in order to name them. Label the following on the diagram at left and then find the measure of the indicated angle. First of all, angle FEA is 54 degrees. FEA. The angle here is angle FEA, and that is 54 degrees. Angle AER measures 29 degrees. So that would be this angle, 29 degrees. Now they want us to find the measure of angle F E R. This entire measure. Notice that angle F E R is the whole. It's the total of the two smaller angles. So the red angle is a part, the blue angle is a part, and the green angle is the whole. Because the smaller parts add up to give me the whole, I just need to add the smaller angles and get the measure of the whole angle. And we get 83 degrees. Example two, label the following on the diagram at left and then find the measure of the indicated angle. So it goes F E R is now 54 degrees. That looks like our hole. And then A E R, angle A E R, is the angle between these three points. That one is 29 degrees. Can you find the measure of angle F E A? Hmm, what is this measure? Hmm, if we don't know it, we could actually represent it by a variable. I could say that would be X. And I already have an equation, I know, that part plus part equals whole. So I can substitute the values or the angle measures that x plus 29 degrees is 54 degrees. And when you solve this equation, you want to get x by itself, so you subtract 29 degrees on both sides. This means that x is equal to... 25 degrees. So the measure of angle FEA is 25 degrees. And then to check, you could take part plus part equals whole and does 25 plus 29 equal 54? Yes, that is a true statement. So the measure of angle FEA is correct, 25 degrees. Answer the following and find the measure of angle LKM. Which angle 
measures 74 degrees. 74 degrees can be represented by the three letters here. So angle J, K, L, where the vertex is always the middle letter. What's another name we could call it? Angle L, K, J, so the opposite order. But again, you cannot say angle K because you don't know which angle is angle K. Is it this angle K? Is it this angle K? Is it this angle K? So you have to use three letters. Which angle measures 100 degrees? That is this whole angle. J, K, M would be the three letters we use to describe it. So J, K, M, or you could reverse the order M, K, J. Either of those would be acceptable. Again, angle K would not be acceptable. And then to find the measure of angle L, K, M. L, K, M. I will call it X, and then I'll set up my equation that part plus part equals whole. And to solve for x, I simply subtract 74 on both sides to get x is equal to 26 degrees. That should be the measure of angle L, K, M, 26 degrees. You can always check by adding part plus part equals whole. 74 plus 26 is 100. That is correct. Give two names for the angle that measures 39 degrees. 39 degrees is right here. And the three points that I could use to label this angle would be BEF. So that could be angle B, E, F. And a second name, I can't use angle E because there are too many angles coming from the point E. So my second name would just be the opposite order, F, E, B. Give two names for the angle that measures 76 degrees. This is 76 degrees. So I'm going to choose the vertex I know is D and then points on either side. So E looks like is one, and then H I could use. I could also use F and L, but those are further away, so it's easier visually for me to use the points that are closer to the angle. Angle E, D, H, or H, D, E, as long as the vertex D is the middle point. Give two names for the angle labeled X. So this angle labeled X has a vertex at point H and then the other points we would use would be K and L located on the rays that make up this angle. So angle K H L or angle L H K as long as H is in the middle because it's the vertex. It's where the two rays meet up to make a point for the angle. Label angle ADC as 76 degrees. Okay. They just want to know that we know where angle ADC is. So I start with the point A, then I go to the point D, then I go to the point C, and it looks like this is the angle they are talking about, and they want me to label it as 76 degrees. Label J, angle J, H, E as 39 degrees. So J is here, H and E is here. So you're looking at the angle between these, 39 degrees is what we're supposed to label that. The vertex is the point part of the angle where the two rays meet up. For basic angle addition, remember part plus part equals whole.
And that is our conclusion to naming angles in diagrams and basic angle addition.